Hi, I'm Maisie McMillan and I'm the K-8 Librarian for Benson Unified School District. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use Destiny and WebPath Express, which is our school's catalog and database. So in order to get to Destiny and start using it, the first thing you have to do is go to the school's webpage, which is www.bensonsd.k12.az.us. From there, you're going to go up to the top left and click Select a School. Scroll down to Benson Middle School, and here we go. From here, you're going to go to Academics, Departments, and then all the way down to the bottom to Benson K-8 Library. This is going to bring up the library homepage. This is what the library homepage looks like. It has everything that we ever do in the library. Programs, contests, brochures, information, anything you need to know is right on here. If you're a parent, a student, or a teacher, you can access the website and there's everything you'll need. There's the banner, my name, my title, my phone number. You can also email me from this page. If you ever have a question or you have a problem, I can help you. It has the hours of operation. We're open Monday through Friday from 7.30 to 4. And these are all the different things that are found on the library website. Now to use Destiny, if you're on campus, you're going to want to click on Destiny Internal. It will only work if you're somewhere on campus. So that means if you're at the primary school, the middle school, or the high school, or the district office, you can get into it using the internal link. But if you're at the public library or you're at home, you have to click on the external link to open it. It will open in a new window. And this is what the main page looks like. You can select from the primary middle school library or the high school library. If you're a student or a teacher and you ever need something from the high school, you can click on here and look for it and I can do an interlibrary loan for you and I can get it for you, anything that you need. Most of the time though you're going to be going to the Benson Primary Middle School website. You click on it and this is what the main page looks like. The first thing you want to do once you're on the main page is log in. If you log in, that means that you can save things in your list and you can place a hold on something if you decide you want it later. To log in, you click up here where it says login. Your login is the same as your district login, and if you're a teacher, your password is going to be 12345. If you're a student, it's going to be the same as your AR login, which should also be the same as your PowerSchool login they're all going to be the same. So after you log in, you're going to click on catalog. Now this will be where you can search for books. You type what you want in here and you can click on keyword, a title of a book, an author, a subject of a book, or a book in a series. Down here you can also search for books that are in your AR level. If you just want to look for books that are in like a 3.5 or a 2.3, any level, you can search for them down here. So let's say we want to search for dolphins. We click title, and it will bring up all the books that we have that have dolphins in the title. We have 23 here in the library. You can sort your results by call number, title, author, date, type, status, or relevance. It always defaults to relevance first. Over here is where it shows you if we have the book and how many copies of the book we have. In this case for dolphins and sharks, we have two copies of the book. Both of them are available. It'll tell you the title. Usually there'll be a picture of the book. The call number, which this one is a regular nonfiction book, and it's by Mary Pope Osborne. This is the author. She's the one who wrote Magic Treehouse. If you ever read a Magic Treehouse book, in this case it would be Dolphins at Daybreak, and you want to learn more about the book you read, you would look for the companion guide. In this case, you read Dolphins at Daybreak, and you can read Dolphins and Sharks as the companion guide to learn more about it tells you the year it was published, the reading level, and the interest level. Now this reading and interest level isn't the same as the AR level. This level is one that the computer calculates based on what the book tells it. The AR level though is right below it. If it is an AR book it will always say it. This one's a 5.1 and it's 1 point. If you ever want to add something to your list, this is something good for if you're doing a project like Science Fair. All you have to do up here is click Add This to List, or if you want to add all of these books to your list, you click Add Page. So if I click Add to List, 
it'll say in this list. You click on it and there it is. Now these are all the books that are in my list from before. If you don't remove them, they'll always be in there. So make sure if you want to start a new list every time, you can start multiple ones or you can use the same one as long as you remove it. Now the best thing about doing a list is that you can come back to a book. Let's say if you're searching for something for a project and you want to build up the books you want to use for your project. You can build them all up in here, check them out, read them, do all your research. And when it's time to do your Works Cited page, Destiny will do it for you. After you put them all in, all you have to do down here where it says Create Citation List, you can do a citation list, which is a Works Cited, or you can do a bibliography. You can name it whatever you want to, and it will actually do the citations for you. Anything you put in this list will be on here. So if you do a Webpath Express search and you get a website, you can add that in, and it will do the websites and the books at the same time. You can also print your list if you want to keep it, and you can sort your list as well. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is how to use Webpath Express. Webpath Express is found over here. This is what the main page of Webpath Express looks like. It always tells you the month, has different categories, and it has a spotlight article. The spotlight article is something that the company thinks you should read, something interesting for that month. It will change every month. Like, did you know that in the month of June, there's World Handshake Day? I bet you didn't. Current events and homework helpers will always be on this page. Homework helpers contains fun activities and games for kids that will help them. Current events is good if you're doing current events reports or you're talking about things that are going on in your class. Then the things that are here on the bottom are things that people are searching for this month. So a lot of people search for zoos and aquariums and movies. To search for something, all you have to do is type it in just like the catalog. So we'll look for dolphins. And it looks very much like the catalog. Now, Webpath Express is only websites, videos, and articles that are safe for students and children to look at which means that they're peer edited and they're always checked for information and content. It'll tell you the title, give you the abstract or the description, the topic, the URL which is where it's located, what language it's in, and it also gives you the option to add it to your list like I said earlier. One of the coolest things is that you can also search by grade level. Whether you're a parent, a student, or a teacher, you want to check the grade level of the content that your students are looking at. For example, you wouldn't want to look at this if you were a third grade teacher. You would only want to look at it if you taught 6th through 12th grade. This one, however, is great for elementary students, which goes through preschool through 5th grade. Webpath Express goes through preschool through 12th grade. So you want to make sure you check the grade level before you click on something. Here at the top is where you can sort through anything you want, what sources you want, what language you want, the domain, the grade level, you can search for what it is. These are all the different types of things that Webpath Express can find for you. The last thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to place a hold. To place a hold, you're going to click over here where it says Destiny Quest. It's going to load. If you have a list here, it's going to appear here. Your top 10 books is also going to appear here. As you can see, I haven't been checking out anything. New arrivals, so new books that I've cataloged are here. And you can also create a personal list of books that you want to read. Now to place a hole on something, you first have to find it. You're going to type it into the box and click Go. From here, you're going to see this page. This is all the Captain Underpants books that we have in the library. You want to make sure that when you place a hold on something or you're looking for it, it's in or it's out. If it's in, it'll have a little green sticker that says in. If it's out, it'll have a red sticker. You don't want to put something on hold that says lost. That means that somebody didn't return it and it's no longer available in the library. To place a hold, all you have to do is click on the book and click hold it and it will tell me to go to the shelf and get it for you and it'll be ready the next time you come to the library. You can also add it to the list or you can search for books that the library may not have and you can make a wish to get that book and I can check your wish list. It will also tell you books that you might like which are usually the same topic or the same author. 
You can do something called shelf browse, which means you're looking at books that are before or after this book on the shelf. You can also do title peek, which will give you cool information about it. And one of the new features is you can post this book to your Twitter or Facebook account if you link it. It'll tell you the call number, give you a description, everything you need to know. It'll also tell you the awards that the book's gotten and if there's reviews available. You can also write a review about this book that other students can read. To go back to the main page for Destiny, all you have to do is click Exit and it will take you back. From here, you can do everything all over again, Library Search or Webpath Express. If you have any questions, you can always come back to the library website, call or email me and I'd love to help you.